Let's bring Ryan back to his family. Uh, do we have to? Well, you want him to follow us? No, let's just go find the nearest Legion outpost and sell him to them. I, they're gonna shoot us on sight. Not if we send Robot in. Robot, you go do it. We can't sell the child to the Legion if the Legion are all dead. All right, fine. We'll bring him back to his family, but only because Buddy Chicken is here and I don't want to let him down. I'm gonna be the person that Buddy Chicken believes I am. That's the spirit. Where the hell does this kid live anyway? I don't know. Over by the thorn. That's a good life for a child. Make him fight Casadors in the arena. Uh, how about this inconspicuous door in the middle of nowhere? Does, this, does it? Where'd that kid go? Hey, child! <laughs> no, I don't want to go back. I hate my family. Small child, go go in there. Is this your home? Don't... Hey, how would he know? He's been enslaved. Thank you, thank you for blocking him from getting any closer to me, Billy. Should have clotheslined the kid. <laughs> All right. What the? Hello, everyone. Um, wow, there's a lot of people in here. Hello, greetings, hi, hi. Which one of you am I supposed to talk to? Watch I... out for fiends. Okay, yeah, I'll watch out for fiends. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, make me go all the way around the counter. Hello. Well, come on in, have a seat, we'll get... Now, hold on. Is that little Ryan I see with you right there? Holy shit. Yes, it is. Who the hell are you? How did you get him back? What's going on here? Magic! Something like that. Ryan was with a bunch of slaves that crossed over the river. I helped repel a legion attack. Not that you care. Wait, you're the one who ran off the fiends and shot up the syndicate and all that mess? Yeah, I've heard of you. That was many years ago, yes. I just want to say, you've done so much for us here. You look outside, damn fiends have run off, we got more militia. And hell, now you brought my nephew to me. You need anything. Uh, everything out here in the store is full discount. Whatever you need, to say the least. Oh boy, cheap mute fruit. Yeah, I don't, I don't need anything. You're, you're good, man. Just take this child off our hands. That's all we want. I don't want him following me around anymore. It's weird. Also, do you need to have a better ventilation hood if you're going to be doing that? I'm also an OSHA inspector, by the way. All right. Why don't we head back home and drop Billy off? Because he, he probably needs a rest. No way, he's a robot, so he never needs stress. Yeah. I'm tired of hearing him go clunk, 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 clunk. No, I, I greased him. He doesn't do that anymore. I, I was trying to think of a reason why we were going to drop him off. Let's drop him off. Let's not need a reason. Let's just do it. Okay, fine. Let's drop him off. Ah, lovely. Yes, protect this town. It's very, very vulnerable. Only a dozen people are here guarding it. Only a dozen? Well, wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, See, six, seven, eight. this is why eight. we need to boot the NCR and Legion out of here. Can you imagine the heinous shit they'd do Ten. to Dinky if they took charge? Please don't shoot me in the face. Nine. Okay, so there's nine companions here that can gut. There's ten companions here <laughs> that can guard this area. Mm. Welcome to Good Springs, home of the Good Springs. Can you get the fuck out? This is a lovely little town, but you know what? There's not a really good place to sleep. We don't really have a home here. Maybe we could claim one of these decrepit residences as our own. I mean, there's quite a few of them. I'm sure any one of them would be fine to take. Like this box. I'll sleep on this old dynamite case. Hey, we figured out where old Pete stores his dynamite. Ooh, how about this? It's a nice, I don't know, any bedroom? Any, I guess if you ever put a bed somewhere, it's a bedroom. Well, according to my absolutely god-awful apartment complex, if it doesn't have a closet, it's not a bedroom. The walls are full of holes, and also the, the wallpaper, what remains of it, is gaudy. Uh, fine, we'll look somewhere else. Where, where, okay, this one. Eh, that one looks a little bit bigger, yeah. Yeah, this is a much nicer house. This one's better. There's, uh, there is actually a closet in this one. The bathroom door is a Dutch door. <laughs> That's fallen off. I, don't worry about that. It's, you know, that, that, the easy fix, easy fix. The toilet, urin, urinal style. It's a urinal <laughs> style toilet. Um, this is a full, uh... The bathtub is also urinal style, I see. As you can see, this is a full, uh, two zero. There's not actually a bathroom in this home. Oh, wait, this is Del Delilah's house. Is this? Yeah, we can't stay here. It smells like tribals, which I, I, I know it's, it's, it's mean to say, but they don't bathe as often as they should. Platform Goliath was here. Oh, that's right. This is Platform Goliath's house. Maybe he fixed it. 
Oh, there what? is a bed. Oh, yes, Ringo slapped on a crappy mattress. That's not great. No, no, I, I think we can do better than a gas station. We got some folks down here. Who the hell is this guy? You guys running an inn? We need a place to stay. I don't recognize this dude. Hey. Welcome to Edgecombe Repair. I'm Dean. I do most of the repair work, and Paul owns the place. Oh, you've set up shop, have you? Why does that name sound familiar? Uh, Edgecombe Repair was repairing the Novak Library. Oh, that's right. So this is where you guys are stationed. Mm, I need stuff repaired. Okay, let me take a look. Well, we got the caps. You can go ahead and fix everything. For 30,000 caps. No, only stuff that I want them to fix. Also, uh, your house is my house now. My house! I am now the only repair person in town. There are more legitimate ways to start a business. Because I killed him. And Gotta kill his partner as well, apparently. Yay, I'm the repairman. Oh, now my house is all bloody, though. There's no other How way. dare you? Oh. You got blood on our new house. How dare you show up to my house and then make me shoot you and then get blood all over it. And ta-da, you're back to life. That's why they call us the magicians. That's why they call you the magician. They call me an unhinged lunatic with, uh, with unlimited access to firearms. And poor trigger discipline. I have an excellent trigger discipline. You can't stop shooting you? people. Okay, this place is already owned. This is a... Yeah, it's getting dark. How about the, the school? The abandoned school. Nobody lives there except Mantises. And they're all hippies. They don't care if they share. They're like, meh, mi casa, su casa. No, they just make Mantis noises and then bite me while I'm trying to sleep. Also, I don't think there's a bed in here. Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. Uh, oh, there is a bed over here. Oh, there is one. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised that there's a bed in here. It's not a very great bed. A bloody journal page. William sounds all official, don't it? <laughs> well, everyone just calls me Billy. Been traveling for what seems like months, but it's really only been a few weeks since I left Shady Sands for New Vegas. You left California to come here, did you? All right. I decided to start this journal in case anything happens to me. Maybe somehow word can get back to my wife and boys. I'm an out-of-work carpenter, and since there's no work in Shady Sands, I've decided to travel to New Vegas in hopes of finding steady work and a means by which I can provide for my family. I'm sorry, you live in the desert. What carpentry? <laughs> I mean, she's taking his carpentry on the road! What wood? Karen said I was insane to try to make the trip, but she's probably right. But luckily, I managed to hook up with a merchant caravan heading east. So, at least I'm not footing it alone. I figure only a couple days from the NCRO post the merchant was talking about. Uh, I've been sleeping in a rot in an old abandoned camper on an old rotten mattress. Great. There's geckos everywhere. There's fresh water here, which is delicious. I haven't had any since I live in the desert. I'm living off the land. Never thought I'd be much of a survivalist, but a couple folks taught me a thing or two about it along the way. I've been drinking water that I found in a puddle. Day seven. Help, I can't stop shitting my brains out because I was drinking unfiltered water. Nah, oh, Paul Edgecombe is a retired trader. He and I are talking business, talking shop, having a good time. We were talking about fixing up the old school right down the alley. I can do that, yeah. Says I can bunk up there in exchange for work and the improvements. Looking up, got a little change in my pocket finally. Yeehaw! Dean can teach me the ropes about repair and stuff. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to town and see what I can find. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. I can I can barely write. So much poison. Oh god, the Cazadors, they got me. Well, we know why he was here. And now I'm gonna burn that note so his family will never find out what happened to him. Well, that seems exceptionally cynical, even for you. <laughs> I go to sleep. And then we slept until morning. Oh, Delilah finished reading Catcher in the Rye. Oh boy, great. I can't believe that this place is unclaimed. A little bit of elbow grease, and this place could be great. I mean, I don't want to do the work. What are you talking about? You love doing cleaning work. It's like your favorite thing to do. I don't want to clean an entire building and then have to get rid of all this stuff. Because then it's like, I got to find somewhere to drop this stuff off. But it's like, I can't just throw it in with the garbage because then they're like, no, it's too big. It's too bulky. You can't, you can't just leave that with the garbage. It's like, fine. Okay, well, bring it to the recycling center. And then the recycling center is like, no, you have to pay a monthly fee in order to drop stuff off at the recycling center. It's like, I'm trying to save the planet here, okay? I'm trying to do my part to make sure that things are getting recycled. And they're like, well, the tough titties. I guess you're just going to have to find somewhere else to drop it off. No one's going to get on your case for trying and to And then I have to up. kill them. Is this, the, is this the dump? Is this the Good Springs dump? Everyone's just bringing garbage out here, yep. Is this where I need to start bringing all of the stuff that's inside to the outside? Probably. Let's see if anyone else here knows about this guy. Welcome to Edgecombe Repair. Need something fixed, you can see Dean. 
I could do some trading with you soon, but waiting for stock right now. Uh, did you know what Billy Wharton? I found a note I think he wrote in that old school. Damn, how could we have missed that? How could you have well, missed that? Well, it was dark in there, and I guess that could have looked like another piece of trash. We found him dead in there a couple of nights ago, and we've been trying to figure out what the hell happened to him since. You, you found him dead, and you wondered what happened since? He probably rotted. No, they found him dead in there, and they were, they've been wondering since then how he died. I see. Well, uh, according to this note that he wrote while he was dying, it looks like casador has got him. Can I see that? No. Yeah, Doc said that's what he thought it was. Looks like he was right. Must have been trying to get to New Vegas up the North Road. I told him nothing but death that way. God damn it, I told him. I freaking tell everybody. Don't take the North Road out of here unless you're committing suicide, damn Or it. you're trying to do a speed hey, run. Hey, thanks for coming to see me. <laughs> he seemed a good man for what time I knew him, and it helps a little knowing for sure what happened to him. That old bone orchard's filling up too quick lately. Guess not everybody as lucky as you are having nine lives and all. What are, you, what are you talking about, not as lucky as I am? I'm like the unluckiest motherfucker on the planet. You got shot in the head and kept on walking. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Probably because you got shot in the head. Anyway, sorry about your friend. Can I have that school? Yeah, he showed up <laughs> and was begging for some work. Trying to get his family out here from back west, Don't ignore my question. Can I have the school? Seemed nice enough, so I was giving the young man a hand up and a chance to show me his work ethic. Maybe I'd hire him for some more steady work if he was a go-getter, you know? He was a go-getter, in the sense that he go-got stung. Look, okay, what if I clean it up and do some work on the school? Right now, there ain't nothing in there but a lot of junk and a dead man's mattress. You sure you're ready for this? It's gonna be a lot of work. Well, I guess you can start by cleaning up the place and hauling off all the rubble, desks, and chairs. Uh. Throw it away with anything else you can pick up and keep what you want, of course. That'll give you a better look at that nasty floor. After you get it all cleaned up, I need you to pick up that old broken terminal and bring it to me. Oh, yeah, something else we need. There's some wooden slats in there we need about 15 or so of. All right, I'll go do work that isn't shooting people. Sometimes you gotta take a break. A little downtime in between mass murder missions. Uh, can I just do the mass murder missions? You're gonna shoot these planks of wood? I'm gonna fix this place up right quick. Just get some, uh... There we go. Just get those put in there. Maybe one of these. Not all your problems can be solved with the 45. This isn't a 45. How dare you? And one of these. And then maybe just do this. I know. We'll get some. We'll get some sediment inside this water bucket. That'll, that'll help break up all the deposit on the floor because there'll be abrasive in it now. Uh, buddy chicken. Buddy chicken. Be careful. You might get tetanus. The only one thing around here is abrasive, and it ain't the water. Boy. Let's just grab all this garbage, get it cleaned up. This place will look nice when everything is clean. Have I ever mentioned how much I dislike playing survival crafting games? You don't have to do any crafting. Well, for the most part, we're just cleaning. I'd help you out, but my hand is full with a firearm. It's a, it's a two-handed firearm, so I, I can't uh -huh. land you a hand. Yup, that's exactly what it is. Plus, I wouldn't want to take any of this away from you. I know that... Uh, Making things nice and tidy is one of your favorite things to do. Survival crafting fans be like, Oh my god, game of the year! <laughs> when you live in a post-apocalypse, every day is a survival crafting day. Lots of garbage. Yeah, I gotta be these lots of wood too. Don't want to trip over them. Activate scrub floor. Gotta find a Braxo cleaner and a box of detergent and some mop water. Okay. Well, there's some detergent. You know, you probably shouldn't be mixing the Abraxo cleaner and detergent together. Just a thought. The Abraxo cleaner and the ammonia do not go together because Abraxo is bleach. Every single time. It's like the game is spawning in more broken <laughs> slats. <laughs> yeah, they blend in so well with the wooden slats on the ground. Uh, oh, the bucket. The bucket you knocked away probably has the mop water in it. Right there. There we go. Mop okay. water. Mop water. And then we scrub the floor. I clean the floor. That Abraxo cleaner is some powerful stuff. You can feel your nostrils bleeding already. <laughs> Takes a little hard work, but eventually even the gooey stuff stuck to the floors cleans up nicely. And that spot where the, that guy died, yeah, that, that place gets cleaned up too. That didn't really get cleaned up. We're just going to put a rug over it and pretend that it didn't happen. Man, the floor looks so much nicer now. All the planks got re-riveted. 
just by mopping them. That's I, that doesn't make any sense. So nice. That doesn't make any sense. Well, while you were mopping the floor, I was also nailing and laminating them. Why are you laminating the floor? Just wax it. And the terminal. You have now removed the terminal and the bobby pins. Yay. Everything is looking nice and clean. I should throw that mattress away. All right, where's the dumpster? There's a dumpster with a bunch of other garbage in it, I'm sure. And a hammer as well. And a green plate and a bunch of empty syringes and some drained microfusion cells and a drained plate and a fuel tank and some chess boards. And... A, a, a somehow infinite amount of shell casings from ammo. All the shell casings from the last seven years. And some cartons of cigarettes, and literally every single shell case that I've ever collected. Yeah, we're not going to be crafting any more ammo. It's fine. And then we also put a pulse grenade in there with the pin pulled, so that if anybody opens this dumpster, it immediately goes off and kills them. <laughs> Suckers. Yeah, that's what I get for messing with my trash. There's been a rumor about that the boomers let some stranger into their base at Nellis. I say they're crazy. It's probably a rumor that you shouldn't pay any heed to. Yeah, don't worry about it. I have the broken computer terminal and 15 wooden slats. Well, that's fantastic. Floor cleaned up pretty good, did it? No. That's good news. Sounds very sturdy for its age. I'll start working on that old terminal while you and Dean do something about those windows. What about the windows? Wait, what? No, I don't want to do... St I don't wash windows. Yes, they're all busted and let the weather in, not to mention all kind of critters. So you and Dean are going to take them out and seal them up. That's what we need those wooden slats for. Take, like take out the critters or take out the windows? One of those things I'm excited about. I found an old recipe for an old adobe mixture called Wonder Adobe. Should be tougher than a death claw's ass when it's all set up. Wonder Adobe, Just need huh? to collect a few ingredients and mix it up at a workbench. There's one up by the store if you need it, or you can use the one inside. I already have the sand for the mix out and what's left of the shed, but you'll have to scrounge up the Wonder Glue in the water. Hell Wonder what? Glue's around everywhere, and check down around by the spring for the water. Just making some plaster today. Okay, okay, it's plaster. When he said, like, sand, I thought he was like, hey, you're gonna go make glass. And I'm just like, why are we doing glass blowing now? <laughs> Don't worry. Dean's a fine carpenter, so you won't have any trouble as long as you can pour sand, water, and wonder glue into a bucket. Just gather up everything on this list and tell Dean so he can help you with the demo and carpentry. See you later. Arrivederci. All right, then. I know there was wonder... Hey. I know there was wonder glue in here, too. Ah, useful. Wait, you forgot about the... Ah! Oh, my... Oh, actually, that wasn't that bad. Because it's a pulse grenade and you're not a robot. Oh, right, right. Grab that wonder glue under the miscellaneous tab there. All right, so what do I need? Wonderwall, it's... Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> I call you Wonderwall because I wonder if it's actually going to work. Uh, we're going to tear out those old windows and plaster them up with Wonder Adobe. Yeah, but then you won't be able to see in there. I already picked up some Adobe sand, so you need to get some sand. I need six Wonder Glue, three buckets, and... And a hammer, sledgehammer, and tire iron. And also get those 15 wooden slats back out. Oh, God. All right. All right. Yeah. Six Wonder Glue, three water bucket, hammer, sledgehammer, tire iron. Why do I need a tire iron? And a partridge in a pear tree. Why do I need a tire iron? To repair the tires. That makes no sense. It's a mobile home. Where am I going to find more Wonder Glue? Uh, maybe they threw it in the junk pile because they didn't recognize its value because they were like, eh, it's not Fallout 4. We don't need to keep the Wonder Glue. There's one. I see one already. Mm. Five, six. Oh. All right, I have six Wonder Glue. Marvelous. Good Lord. I keep... I, so there many we go. Tabs and tabs, yeah. Six Wonder Glue, two... Ado Do I have the Adobe Sand? I believe he mentioned... Oh, there it is. There's some Adobe Sand All as right. well. Six Wonder Glue, two Adobe Sand, and now I need the water buckets... Why is that an American Girl dollhouse wall locker? I guess they threw them in the dumpster because who uses lockers that small? And now we grab the water from the springs. Where's those water buckets? Water buckets! That's where they are. Ow! Oh my god, that didn't feel good. Rub some water on it. That hurt more than uh, the pulse grenade did. Because you're not a robot. That makes sense. All right, we got water buckets, and they're even filled with water, we'll assume. I'm not sure how I'm carrying a bucket filled with water in my pocket, but we'll ignore that and move over this way. Mike, if I'm not a robot, 
Then why do I want to have sex with them so badly? Because you're a robophile. Oh, that's right. I gotta go to a workbench and craft it. All right, time for us to actually use the workbench here. We don't normally craft it in this uh, local area, but we'll give it a try. That's not a workbench. There it is. In his house. Hopefully we got the... Re there it is. Wonder Adobe. I'm glad these repair guys are here to tell us exactly how to do their jobs. Not like they could repair anything. Yeah. Speaking of repair, want to fix that fucking window? <laughs> Come on, set an example. Hot dog face? Want to fix the window? Wait, no, no, it's not a hot dog face. Bratwurst face, that's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of a bratwurst when it cooks too much and like the skin ruptures and then you get parts where it starts puffing out. That's what your face looks like. Ah. Oh. Dean. Looks like Paul's had you busy on another one of his harebrained projects. Can't tell you how many of those I've been on. Which is it this time? You run a repair company and you think fixing the school is a harebrained project? Well, he's got no profit incentive. My man Dean here is a capitalist at heart. Paul wants us to tear out the windows and seal up the walls with this Wonder Adobe. Wonder Adobe? Huh. <laughs> I'm just wondering if this is going to work. So is he. I guess we'll see. Now about I take that tire iron and hammer, and you keep the sledge to bust up the big stuff, huh? Hey, you want to race? Last one there's a rotten, um, rotten, right. I don't think that turned out just right. Oh, because you're rotting. I... Uh... Well, you figure out, while you're figuring out how to finish that sentence, we're going to get there before you. He's going to get to work. You ready for this? Hope so, because this going to be a lot of work. Oh, you weren't doing it. Okay. I got it. It's fine. What do we need to do next? Sledgehammer window. Just pretend that window's the fella that shot you in the head and beat the shit out of it. Stop bringing that up. I don't care. It ought to be good to let out that built-up tension you got. Can't blame you too much for that, though. Let's get to work. You want to see built-up tension? I'll show you built-up tension. I'll show you built-up tension right now. No, he was helping us! Why? Built up tension! He wasn't be he wasn't being mean at all! Built up tension! Alright, you grab his ankles, I'll grab his arms. Now fuck this, actually. <laughs> Time to bust down some windows. Am I doing it right? Is that correct? What do I what do I do? Am I doing it right? I don't think that's it's correct, no. <laughs> you whacked it like twice, maybe a bit more. Just keep swinging, just keep swinging for the bleachers. You and Oh my god, that's a lot of text. <laughs> Holy shit. You and Dean make one hell of a team. No, let, let me, let me. You and Dean make one hell of a team. First you use the sledgehammer, Dean use the tire iron, remove the old window frame, you get the stud in the wall. Then you use the nails Dean found in the tire, the wood slats is back into the wonder adobe. The wonder adobe is true, the wonder is a smoky fellow system where the windows are one floor. You even get. <clears throat> You get with a great idea of using old broom to put up a finish up for a nice dog's heels. Old chalkboard from high school work perfectly to seal up the other one windows. That's just a You can help Dean set up the temporary light. Don't forget to speak Dean. Once again, you can continue to work with school. Temporary lighting? I love that. The lighting in this game is pretty awful. There's no electricity to power lights. Of course there isn't. Stop chewing on your fingernails. That's disgusting and it makes your hands look gross. Say, you're pretty handy with that sledgehammer. Wow, these walls really turned out amazing. That's a fine piece of work, my friend. I'm heading back over to the shop for now. Oh, one other thing. Give Paul this note about the wiring in this place for me, will ya? Why don't you just go tell him? <laughs> wow, that sure is some temporary lighting that he set up. That's all the temporary lighting we got. What if this is a scheme? Like, we get this place set up, and then he's like, Ha ha, gonna backstab ya! And then we have to fight him for it. We gotta arm wrestle! This is what I don't like about survival crafting games, is every single survival crafting game is just menus, the game. Right, It's yes. just, it's just, you open a menu to see how many of X item you need, and then you go try to find X item by bonking the side of a tree for 15 minutes. And then after bonking the side of a tree for 15 minutes, the game reveals to you that you still do not have enough of X item. 